Hello, hello. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. This morning, I was going to, I had this idea. And I was going to get into my art studio and get my creative juices flowing and be ready to go live on YouTube. And, well, I got my creative juices flowing and I couldn't stop myself. So I decided I would just jump on here early and show you what I've been doing for the last half an hour. Okay, let's go down to my desktop and see what I got going on. <laughs> okay, so I have been playing with my jelly plate and alcohol inks. And that's how far I've gotten. I've, I've pretty much just made this, this mess. And I've been playing around with doing some stencil work and using this alcohol lift, which sort of kind of works. So, but I've had to kind of wipe it out and start all over again. So I just thought I would just get on here early and just keep playing. I also have this um, white pigment that I want to play around with. So, yeah, you can see that the this material that I'm using, this is um, uh, craft plastic. It's lifting up my my alcohol inks and that didn't kind of, it didn't really work out the way I hoped it to. But like I said, this is all just, I'm just experimenting with things and playing around and um, eventually this is going to end up on a journal page. So I'm just putting down some more ink to fill in that little space. This is just some rubbing alcohol. I'm telling you, you no matter what you do with this technique, you know, it, you really can't screw it up. Um, it's kind of magical because you might not think it looks good, but then when it ends up on your journal page, it does something kind of amazing. So I'm going to keep going, but I'm going to switch from, I've got a whole bunch of alcohol ink down here and that's fine and dandy and I like it, but I'm going to switch techniques here and I want to play around with getting some, getting some paints down here. Now don't try this at home until I'm done. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> so don't stop watching now because, you know, <laughs> you just never know. Okay, so we got some textures down. What if I did some, some other stencils on top? This is one that's made out of paper, so, or cardstock or something like that. So I don't think it'll stick as bad as that craft plastic, which I was making stencils out of with my Cricut machines. I don't know what's, what's with me and using too much paint today. It's going to be one of those days. I want another color. I actually... I want some black. Add a little bit of contrast. Okay, I'm going to call it done. 
All right, so I have my little uh, homemade art journal here, and you know, this is, I wanted to put it in the center because I think it'll print better, but I already have something in the center. What do you think? Can I just like do it right on top of it? Maybe, 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 I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I think I need to put down um, something on top of this so that it ends up on my page. Isn't that how it works? Okay. So I'm gonna, I am gonna use a new page in my journal, but I need to put down a fresh coat of paint. And for that, I will want my other brayer. Where did it go? Once again, I got way too much paint. And hopefully everything will lift up and end up on my page. Okay, moment of truth. Okay, so. The way I envision doing this is I put this, I put a piece of plastic underneath my jelly plate so I could pick it up. <laughs> I say I can pick it up, but I'm really struggling here without actually touching it. And then I'm going to put it down. Unfortunately, my jelly plate isn't as big as my paper, but that is the creative challenge. The reason I did it this way, instead of putting it down on top, was I was thinking it would be easier to do this rub part. Think that's good enough? Should I peek? Ooh. This is another reason I put it down like that, so I can peel it back. Well, that's a fine mess. <laughs> Wowzers, pretty cool. I was thinking about maybe doing, finding some scraps to take care of like the edge on here. I know I still have this, this edge down here at the bottom. Oh, this one, this one really just blends right in with that. is a very interesting shape left on my this scrap piece of paper almost looks like a bird I love working with scraps that way. You just never know. It was just a scrap. It was just sitting over here. And I was like, oh, that looks really interesting. It caught my eye. Looked like a little bird. And now I got these leftover scraps here. What could I do with these? I almost imagine that the 
the little bird is saying something. So I'll give him some little speech bubbles. Okay, now that that's dry, I can take a paint pen ink out. If it, your paint pen comes out clear, you need to shake it up and de depress that tip to get it, get the ink flowing again, or the paint. So now I can put, I can outline these. You see how I'm dipping my pen back into that little puddle that I made so I'm not wasting any of that? Now you could do this with paint, you could do this with ink. You don't have to have a paint pen like I'm using. Use what you've got. Okay, so that stands out a little bit more. It's still kind of it's still a little too much in the background, so maybe I need a fatter line. Let's try that. Oh, this is interesting. So I was just down scrounging around on my floor because, you know, I have stencils like everywhere. It's a real mess down there. And I found this. It's like, oh, maybe that needs to go on here. So this is what happens when you have supplies all around you and no plan. <laughs> a no plan is, is, is a plan. <laughs> That's my plan is a no plan. Okay, so I need, what do I need? I need cosmetic sponges. And I want this to be yellow, but since yellow is really transparent, you have to put down white first. that really added something to it. It really, really did. Okay, I want to I 
Here's my little birdie and I. Maybe give it some feet. It looks more like a bird. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Does it look like a bird? Maybe I don't know what this little birdie is saying. And that is the mystery to solve. And I've had this sitting in front of me for a while now, and I think I know what to do with this. Did you know that if you subscribe to my channel and click the bell, I do believe you will get an email when I go live. And I go live five days a week. So if that's something that would interest you, go for it. I think that putting that white around it really set it off. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching me this morning and or whenever, whatever time of day it is for you. <laughs> and um, I hope this inspires you to to take some action to, to do something in your art journal. It's really amazing what can happen when we just allow ourselves to play and just have some fun and it's just so freeing it just will free you up i mean i feel so light right now and it doesn't really matter how my page turned out although i i did like how it came out <laughs> but what matters is that you get that creativity going in your life okay thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye bye <laughs>